What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and I'm going to be going over the hotkeys I use most often. I'm definitely not going to go over every single one that exists because I don't use all of them. So I'm going to show you the ones that I use since I'm in the rack. The first one that you should know is F7. That's to get to the sequencer. I use F8 a lot. That's for the toolbox. F6 to get back to the rack. The mixer is F5. I go in and out of my browser a lot with F3. I pull up the filters, the EQ with F2. So back to the sequencer. A lot of things I do in the sequencer again, F8. Some other things I use is um, holding down the option key when you have one of these selected gives you the alternate tool. So uh, if you have something selected and you hit delete, it will delete. There is no need to right click. If you want to duplicate it, command D to select everything on this, command A. I could duplicate it if I wanted to. And it duplicated by the bar, so it's all the way over there. Uh, another thing I use is turning my click on and off with C. I zoom in with G and H, although you can zoom in and out with the plus and minus keys. When I'm drawing in my notes, I use the same, the same, how, what do you say? The same commands is up here, so I hold command for the alternate key, the alternate tool, sorry. And uh, if I want to switch, then Q is the mouse, W is the pen, E is the eraser, R is the razor, uh, T is the mute tool, Y is the magnifying glass. If you want to zoom into this. You can also again zoom out with H. Um, to get back to the beginning of the sequencer or to move from left to right, I hold down shift. The hand tool is U. Speaker tool is I. And that comes in handy when you have slices. It only shows up when you have an audio clip. So I is for audio clips. Another thing I use, I turn my loop on and off with L. I record by hitting the asterisk key on the number pad. And I start it and stop it by pressing the space bar. I can also skip ahead a few bars at, well, not a few bars, but one bar at a time by hitting 8. And I could go back by hitting 7. I can fast forward by hitting 5 and rewind by hitting four. Another thing I do is uh, alternate tracks. So if I hit, I believe it's the, the greater than symbol. Greater than or the period. If you hit period, you'll get alt group. If you hit the dub or the less than or the comma, you'll get a dub group. Control Z is to undo everything. If you're in here and you want to, I guess, slope these, I'm not sure what the exact word is, hold down Option and Command together and you'll get this tool right here. Um, if you want to use block mode and name your blocks, rename your blocks, just hit B. And hitting it again gets you back into song mode. Uh, many times I might have two clips. I just select both of them and hit Command J. I do that. Control Z, Control Z. Um, besides that, I don't know if I set this already. If I want to turn off the snap, like I'm going to record some pianos or something like that. And I don't want it to snap directly on the grid because I want that human factor. I just turn the snap off and make sure my click track is on with C. Um, 
copy and paste, control C, I mean, sorry, command C, command V for paste. Uh, command Z, you can hit command X and it will also delete it. Um, back to the rack with S6. I think everybody knows this, but to get to the back of the rack, just hit tab. And if you want to reduce the cable clutter, hitting K will do that for you. When you set your loop points in Reason, You can move them by, you move the left by holding Option or Alt, same thing, and you can move the right by holding Command. So I can move my loops however I want. You can only get one loop though, which is kind of rough, but the good part about it is I can set this here and I can set this here. And if I want to go to the beginning, I hit zero on the number pad to go back to the beginning or the, the period or the decimal on the number pad will also go back to the beginning so if I click over here it's at the beginning um, if I hit 1 it'll start from the L and if I hit 2 it'll start from the R so I do that a lot when I'm working with different sections of a song other than that one thing I use a lot is the plus and minus on the numpad and that just changes the tempo without you having to click on it Cause sometimes this thing is finicky I mean you click on it once and it just pretty much does that you start typing sometimes it doesn't work you want to put in a decimal you gotta click on it separately and you gotta enter the entire three digits or you get some weird stuff if you don't want to do it on the zero put that back to 97 though uh, another thing I use is um, when I'm doing my my ghost channels, my ghost notes. I draw a clip on top of that. Double click on this. Another way to edit your clip is hitting Command E. And um, if you click on the, make sure you have the clip selected. You hit M. It will mute it for you. So if I had notes here, then if I did the same thing, they would show up underneath it like this. So this isn't necessarily a shortcut. Turn the snap back on. So I want to grid, duplicate that, command up, if you use the arrows, command down, command left, you can move it, all that stuff works, whoops, command Z, go back to the mouse tool, command A, duplicate, going to go back, command E, grab my pen tool, draw a clip on top of this, command E, Make sure I have this selected, hit M, and I can see my ghost notes. So it's all super quick. It's a super quick process when you get it down. Um, I believe that's all I can think of at the moment. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture.